everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 Illustrator Part tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to install realistic usable charges and citations for Computer Light. It just makes the game feel so much better. It's so much better having this inside your game for Computer Light because the charges are 100% accurate and they are just amazing. You guys are going to love it. Uh, but for those of you that do not have Computer Light, I have a tutorial that I just released for showing you how to install Stop the Ped ultimate backup and computer light all in one so you guys need to go check that out if you do not have computer light for those of you that do let's go and get started the very first thing that you guys want to do is going to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel hit that notification bell so you guys get notified anytime we come out with tutorial and also smash that like button help the channel out. i'm gonna help you install these realistic charges and citations so let's go and get into it so what you guys want to do is go to steam pull steam up go to your steam library right click on grand theft auto 5 Go to manage and browse local files. What this is going to do is pull up your GTA 5 main directory. Okay. Inside your GTA 5 main directory, you guys want to go to plugins. You guys want to go to LSPDFR. And you want to go over here to computer light. So you want to click inside this folder. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and download this file. So we're going to go ahead and click download this file. Big shout out to Chad. Got to show him some love. This is just absolutely amazing. Got to show him some love right there. So we're going to give him the heart and a big shout out to chat C78 for creating this. It's just amazing. I love using it. And every single time that I stream with this, everybody's like, where'd you get it from? This is how you get it, guys. So we're going to click download this file. And we're going to go ahead and open this up. If you guys do not have anything to open up your zip files, which you guys should already have it because you got computer light. So we're just going to go ahead and skip ahead of that. So we're going to go to computer light charges and citations. We're going to go ahead and open this file just like so. And what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and... Take these two files right here, charges and citations. We're gonna go back to our GTA 5 main directory. And again, you guys can get to where we are right now by doing this. Go to your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory, go to plugins, go to LSPDFR, computer light folder. And in here, what you guys wanna do is take your download and take these two files right here, okay? These two files right here, drag and drop into here, replace the files in the destination. Done. Perfect. Let's go ahead and head over to the game and we'll let you guys see what it looks like inside the game. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my game up. And we're going to start it up with Rage Plugin Hook and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So now that we're inside GTA 5, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what realistic charges and citations is all about. It's absolutely amazing. Makes your game feel so much more realistic. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to walk over to this guy right here smoking a cigarette. We're just going to go ahead and double tap K. Wait up! And we're going to go ahead and stop him. We're going to ask for his ID. So I'm going to go and Let's get his ID from ID, him. Huh? Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So we're going to walk over here. Jasper Montana is the uh, guy's name. So what we're going to do is hop inside my vehicle. And we're going to get on our computer. So I am going to go and open computer light. And what we're going to do is go to ped records. So we got Jasper Montana right here, okay? Uh, 24 years of age. He is a male. And you guys will see in here. So let's go to arrest report. So if you go to arrest report, we got misdemeanor traffic. You guys can go through here. There's so much stuff that comes with it now. Um, you got felony traffic, you got vehicle assault, you got aggravated fleeing. If you guys look right here, so you'll see F. F stands for felony, and then M stands for misdemeanor, okay? So if you go through here, you can see misdemeanor right here. You got felony DWI, driving while intoxicated. You also got firearms. So you got discharge of a firearm 500 feet from a dwelling. You also have, which is this pretty cool, I love this, is right here. So possession of a firearm tampered serial number, okay? So basically, I know everybody's done it where you arrested someone, you ran the serial number, and the serial number is scratched off. So that's what that means right there, possession of a firearm with a tampered serial number. So right there, you could charge them for that. Um, there's so much stuff that you guys can get them with. You got a uh, battery right here, domestic battery, domestic battery. You got um, battery on law enforcement. So one's a misdemeanor domestic battery, and then the other one's a felony. Uh, you got assault in here. You got immigration, resisting obstructing so um impersonating a police officer unlawful contact planting tampering with evidence destroying concealing evidence all kinds of stuff in here guys and uh robbery theft you got schedule one narcotic schedule two schedule three and schedule four narcotic um so we're gonna go back and i want to show you guys my favorite thing about um realistic charges and citations and if we go over here and we go to jasper montana and we create citations if you go down here to the very bottom you'll see you can now give warnings okay 
everybody knows law enforcement do give warnings okay as long as you comply with them and you're polite to them they will give you a warning um unless you just did something outrageous but um we could give them uh unlawful speed over the posted limit warning a written warning all that stuff you got equipment non-moving accident so we put them at fault of an accident all kinds of stuff you got operation right here failure to secure load um littering from vehicle obstruction of driver's view now uh, crossing double yellow all kinds of stuff that you guys got right here and the cool thing about these charges is okay so i'm gonna charge this guy for something i want you guys to go ahead and see poor jasper is about to get charged for something um so with these you guys can see right here so i'm gonna charge him with something crazy poor jasper uh but we are gonna go ahead and charge him for let's go down to the bottom we're gonna charge him for something outrageous okay so we're gonna go homicide and we're gonna charge him for first degree murder murder it's gonna be capital murder Okay, so the way that realistic charges and citations work is the same as the other charges that you had just that comes with computer light, okay? They still get time, okay? So each charge that you give them, they get a certain amount of time. So it still works that way, okay? So we're going to charge them for first degree murder, poor Jasper, and uh, he's going to do some time. But we're going to go ahead and submit. So we're going to go to open action menu, submit charges, okay? He's going to have first degree murder, murder, capital murder. Okay, and what we're going to do is go to court cases right here. So if we go to Jasper, Montana, this is the one that we stopped. Okay, this is the one that we just charged her for a murder for no reason. We're going to reveal outcomes. Okay, so we're going to click that. He got a total of 60 year, 64 years in prison. Okay, he, he kind of got lucky on that because he could have got life in prison, but he got 64 years in prison. All right, so you guys can see that right there. The charges do work. And uh, we're going to go into end it here. Thank you all for coming by. Poor Jasper over there. He might as well run. But uh, we are going to go into end it here. Thank you all for coming by and watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. If this did help you guys out and you guys enjoy it and makes your game feel so much more realistic, definitely smash that like button. Let me give a big shout out to Devin. Devin is the one that sent this over to me a while back and told me to get it. And I haven't, it hasn't left my game since. I absolutely love it. And I know I get a lot of people that ask me, they say, where do you get them uh, additional charges? This is how you guys get it. And you guys are good to go. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.